so, so the model that uh, we are building is uh, as a very simple uh, thing I'll make it like four floors or maybe um, five floors so that we can uh, export it to Houdini and uh, prepare it for destruction uh, so um, it's it's gonna be a very uh, um, simple model setup like um, if I if I show yeah uh, like we'll make uh, one pillar like that and uh, let's say that's the back pillar and we'll we'll make uh, the slab so th there will be no uh, brick wall or walls or some sort of anything it's just like when you build a, uh, a residential building uh, uh, that we all the beams and uh, so this will be the floor yeah i'm not really good at uh, writing with the mouse and and after we build this it'll be pretty simple because we just have to copy these pillars and put it up like that and then we can take that slab and move it over like that and and then on it'll be much more simpler because we can take a uh, take this uh, whole section and then again place it over so and uh, it's actually uh, I've seen this uh, this kind of a uh, um, uh, destruction in Vimeo actually so um, let's let's try to rebuild with uh, uh, from my own setup okay um so let's begin uh let's create a cube uh we can stick to real world scale but uh, but i mean just uh like uh even the ratio is okay because uh, let's say um a typical uh pillar is uh i actually had a a note on this <coughs> if it opens uh, okay in United Kingdom how say 2.4 the brick width so brick width, let's see, let's so let's keep it around uh, 3 not 3 I mean 0.4 meters that's 400 centimeter okay with so instead of 400 let's try 40 oh actually 4 4 is fine yeah and then let's go to the right view and uh, just position it so that it's on the floor okay and even even before the pillar let's copy this guy and let's say this is the floor and just make it a little bit thick thick as in around that much so that we have something to collide uh, in Houdini and we can move this guy down and uh, scale the vertex Oop, not the vertex, the face. Let's say this is our floor. Yeah, we will use uh, the um, the ground plane in Houdini, but uh, it's always okay to have a thicker ground plane so that the collisions are okay and they're not penetrating. Uh, okay, so let's put this in a new layer and make it template. So reference so that we we don't select it by mistake. 
uh, let's go to right view and uh, go to four wireframe let's position it so that uh, it's almost on top of the floor okay let's hide this guy for now so that's our pillar thickness and and also a uh, default height is around uh, something around uh, three meters I think but but since we're not doing it in, like real scale but the basic ratio should be okay I think this much height is okay for the post so that's one of them and let's position it uh, somewhere here let's say 40 or 45 <clears throat> and uh, okay okay this is the beam right so we will be uh, duplicating it all over the scene uh, so it's good to even before I duplicate I think I might want to add a little bit of uh, edge detail around this border so that uh, the light catches so I'll just bevel it just put uh, two segments and uh, a little bit of that is fine so that it catches light you know so if you render it then uh, we can see something happening in the edges okay now before that let's save the scene save scene as <coughs> desktop temporary let's make a new folder we'll call it a uh, pillar and slabs go inside and we'll save it as uh, Maya Houdini oh. Maya Houdini um, workflow <coughs> okay uh, okay now I can um, maybe do a UV and wrap on this guy so that we can apply texture later on but okay we can leave this part for now because uh, um, I'm not really thinking about putting uh, textures on this because uh, <coughs> I just want to show how you would use Maya and Genie together so okay let's duplicate this guy and uh, let's say around here it's fine you know maybe yeah and duplicate this guy again and uh, make it uh yeah like that so that's our post maybe too wide okay so now we want slab uh, so we can grab this guy, duplicate it, and uh, move it up. Like so. And uh, grab the vertex. And let's grab this guy. And let's grab this guy. <clears throat> so basically, I'm just modeling for simulation. No penetrating parts. A little bit of space between the objects is fine because uh, we will be using glue constraint. Yeah, and glue doesn't really care about uh, the the uh, what do you say the small spaces I think uh, yeah that should be fine 
so like I said before now all I have to do is really uh, oh hold on even before that I'll just move these guys a little bit inside because normally in a building you see uh, some part of the structure hanging outside of the beams so so that it's structurally stable like so okay now that's fine so that's a slab uh we can also start renaming these guys oh no it's okay i mean th there are uh, pretty well, like very few objects to worry about uh since we are duplicating it all over and uh, it's a very simple setup so i'll copy this guy uh, just the pillars duplicate it move it up go to the front or the right view or front of view and move it up go to wireframe no penetration just so we are there right now that's the second floor now I can duplicate this guy go to right view again and position it again so that's our uh, two floors I'll select these two now duplicate it right view Put it right there. So that's one, two, and two more. Duplicate right view. Okay, so that's the floor that we wanna maybe we won't need this guy i think that's fine yeah save it and so uh, by looking at it uh the structure looks stable because these are supported by these four legs this one's with this this with this so on yeah um, i maybe my pillars are just a little bit too tiny but I think uh, it's fine once we take it to simulation. <clears throat> okay, um, so I think we are good to go to the genie. I'm just wondering if I want to place one more right in the middle. Let's check. No, I think that'll be a bit weird. So that's a standard structure of a building. And then you get the bricks and whatnot. So so let me group these guys. Mm. So I'll select everything. Edit. Delete all by type history. And... Uh, sorry. Select all. Modify. Center. Pivot. and we can scale maybe no we can't we have to group it first so with so with that because mm, uh, okay now if if we bring this into houdini uh, this will be like way 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 big because houdini is a meter and maya is in uh, uh what do you say in centimeter what i mean is if i create a measure distance to I mean that's my observation so if I measure from here to here that's 39 centimeter in Maya but uh, in Houdini this will be 39 meter so so the best would be to select uh, modify mesh uh, select all and we'll combine it mesh combine delete all by type history Oh, wow, I did I select the floor. 
So let mesh combine. Delete the history and uh, let's go into the right camera and move the pivot. So I press the insert key and uh, press the V key to snap. We can move it uh, in the the pivot into uh, a vertex. So that's fine. So another. So now we can scale. Uh, so let's scale it small. Okay, it's hard this. Yeah, I think this will be this is pretty fine. I mean even smaller. We can all scale it back in Dini. Okay. Alright, now we can mesh separate and mesh edit history. Okay. Now let's rename stuff that we need. We'll separate each. Uh, uh, we separate the pillars as one object and the slabs as one object. So we'll select these and we'll combine it. A mesh combine. We'll call it uh, the pillars. And we can delete the history. So that's the pillars now. The slabs. We'll select these. Mesh combine. These are the slabs. And delete history. And you see, it's a very boring process of preparing the model, but I think it's 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 good idea to do that so that you'll have a much more stable simulation. So let's see. I think we are good to go. Pillar slab. Now, now let's select uh, the pillar. Let's export selection and let's export it to. If it loads uh, to my temp directory in the in the where was it? Where did you go? Hmm? Yeah, pillars and slabs. Pillars and slabs. You call it uh, merged pillars export. Now it's labs, export selection, merge slabs. So we are ready to start Houdini and uh, start uh, uh, fracturing stuff. So let's do that in the next video.